What's up guys, welcome back to the Eclipse in Berserk. Whoa, this was crazy. <laughs> Remember when I watched this years ago? Still in shock. So, one of the peak moments in Berserk, Dave on Patreon asked me to draw this <clears throat> and color it as best I can. Um, and I will try. But it's very atmospheric and there's a lot of like digital smoke and mist and lighting effects and everything. So I'm not that good, <laughs> but we'll draw it anyway. And we'll color it as best we can. Center point here. Come up, head in that this top half. So probably have to zoom in. Bit of movie magic. Zoom. Go. Just for scale. That's where I am. Okay. And then we'll start with the beak. I think easiest place for me anyway. Yeah. Boom. Okay. And then the bottom portion. So his mouth will be in here. There. So this will spike down. And then this part goes up. Okay. Unusual enough shape. <clears throat> and then we will go around. And it's not like a perfect circle, so I would say like trace around a circle if you wanted to get, but it's kind of long on this, on the back end. I was looking at it before I started drawing. It's not like a circle, perfect anyway. And then this comes around. And then he has like a base plate or something here, which goes a bit flatter, curves up and down there. <clears throat> and then it sticks out on covering his neck. And then it goes around the top and down. I think it goes down behind his shoulder here, but we'll just draw it in. And some extra sort of edge lines and rims on it. Okay. And it's like welded in, in a couple of places. So like here and then curving around like that. And then I think there's a weld here as well. So his, so his, his, his mouth is like in here. So if you were like, his nose would be coming down there. So the eye space, sort of bird eye would be like here. Right. And this is like a little edge coming around it. Like that. Okay. So if you want like textures and stuff on this metal, feel free to do that. Now, Griffith himself. So we can just see like a little bit of his forehead coming down there and then his nose comes down this way right in the bottom of the nose comes out here put a nostril there maybe so then his eye is just across here real close to the bottom of this thing it just goes up Cross it down, and then he's kind of like looking up. Looking up that way a bit. His pupil is kind of like back here. Okay. 
screen maybe we got like an eyelid line just on top there and what we can see for his eyebrow I'm just gonna put it here not entirely visible but I imagine it's there and then his hair spikes just coming down around the back of his head and everything Okay, Whew, tricky. So, mouth. Mouth is kind of open. Okay, so the top lip curves out. And then it goes back in. Keep the curves down. And in for his chin there. Right, and it might be a bit tricky to make it look like it's open now, but say like if we went back a bit further here. The top lip. Goes down that way. shadow or something here just to make it look like it's open and then he's got like a scratch or something on his face there right so just to make the helmet look a bit three-dimensional there's like an extra line in behind his head there and around the back that way and then his neck comes out from the helmet itself just there and it has an extra line coming out here can't see his neck on the back we just see like his shoulder as i said it kind of goes over this thing here arms are quite skinny Right, so we got some anatomy. So his tricep is quite skinny. His bicep. Blood running down his arm and his chest. So say so like chest is all bandaged up as well. So it's not like kind of bumpy coming down here and his other shoulders at the back. It's a very thin figure. So we'll just finish the abdomen, sort of going down this way. It's like stomach goes down there. We just get the main shapes and then like add all that bandage and stuff. So like his arm coming down here. there and there's like bandages that stick off a bit so I will like draw these kind of like that and his hand disappears into water down here okay really long and thin so then his trouser starts here fabric bumping 
down and he's on his knees so it goes down this way and his knees disappear into water so they're kind of like cut off there like that and like his so he's on his sort of heels kind of sitting so his knees are bent it's like a green wrap around thing here <clears throat> okay that's what we got so far more fabric lines and stuff around on his on his pants and things and then we can just see his his heels staring here and his feet bending around and then disappearing into the water there both of them okay so right so then so we've got like just his hand sort of disappearing into the water here and his fingers coming out here somewhere. But we'll deal with that in a few minutes. So his other arm. Down there, elbow, bicep, elongated, really skinny. Crazy long and skinny arms, like unrealistically skinny. Okay. <clears throat> so, hands down, fingers. There's like fingers coming up here, so hands are always tricky. And his hand position isn't the easiest here. So we go bumping. Like everything has sort of extra little bumps on his first thumb and everything bony. I'm trying to make him look a bit skinny and bony. There's like a string or something there, so his hand will go. That's like a string that wraps around. Where does that finger go? That's roughly that hand position. And the other one, go down and try and figure that out. So, curves around that way. This is his thumb there. Disappears into the water. And then fingers just kind of weirdly stick out here. So we'll go do it here. One there, next one, next one, in behind one another, 
like that, sticking up. Right. So. Bandages all over the body then. So just coming over his collar here. One's going down this way. And they all sort of overlap one another. And then they have like textures on. So you just, you just have to sort of do this bit by bit, build it up. There's a shoulder muscle here. Like his chest is there. Okay, and then all wrapped around his arm as well. So you're just like basically curving them around each shape. No sort of trick to it, you just kind of build it up. A bit tedious, moving on this, but you gotta do it. Add some textures to these bandages. Just to, so people don't think they're skin, I guess. <clears throat> And then around this arm, and there's like red blood sort of around the arm here, but it's done with color. So it's just like trails down his arm, really. Trails down this arm. I would do that with color if I were you. Because if you draw it in, it's so thin, sort of, that it wouldn't really make much sense. And line there. Like so, and then like some textures and stuff on the bandages. Like that. Right, so he's got that amulet on his wrist. Um just goes wraps around itself. Goes around his arm here. I'm just doing it in black because it's quite a thin line, so. 
kind of like the infinity symbol there. And then it has a little gold ring on top. And then the egg shaped amulet itself. Just there. And it looks like there's cracks in it, but I'm not quite sure. And there's some like water dripping where he pulls it out. Now, that's the figure portion of the whole thing, right? Griffith. So now we gotta do like some apps, like some background things, basically. So we gotta divide our page up into some sections, right? So the mountains sort of start, there's all water here, right? And there's all mist and cloud, but you can't really draw that in. It's, it's done with digital effects. So we'll just go like this way. And then our mountains are like here. Right, and those are quite, they're, it's silhouetted, so it's like colored all black. Like so. And there's all ripples in the water and everything in clouds. So, that half moon goes behind his shoulder here. Right, so we'll start it there. And it'll end here. And it goes in behind here. So like in behind his shoulder. So again, if you have something like a, a big circle, like a plate or something, that could get you that circle shape. Feel free to use it. We'll just go for this. Right, and that is all black inside. It has like a glowing edge to it. I don't know how I'll do that now. Let's see, so we'll add another, we'll go again. We'll add another edge, just like a broken sort of line for the glow. Okay, and then there is so there's all light beams coming out of this, right? So we gotta go well, clouds maybe first. So we got like clouds as well. So just these random sort of shapes. neck as well. And they look like they're digitally just like placed in, they're not even drawn, you know. And then 
they get sort of skinnier down here. Right, so I have my ruler just for maybe some like beams. Right, and then ripples around his hand and stuff. So like the water sort of ripples around where the contact is. Something like this, right? It splashes out of the water. There as well. And then to make it look sort of like water going this way. So like your illusion of perspective is that these waves are wider here, but as they get back here, they get like real close together and really small. So like back here, it's nearly like one sort of block of line, very close together. And these ones are like bigger and more separate here. It just makes it look like it's everything's receding. So and gradually as it comes down, they get sort of further apart. You know, like that sort of. And they get kind of a bit bigger. But then they're real close together and small up here. because they're further away from us. So you gotta get this sort of illusion of depth, which can be tricky. And then you add color, of course, which will be quite challenging because it's like all red and stuff. So I'll do my best to color it, Dave but it might not be anything close to the original because it's like a really good image, like they put a lot of work into it and they know their way around Photoshop, I'd say. Okay. I think that's the best I can do. Hope was helpful. The Eclipse. Thanks for watching.
See you in the next one. Bye.